fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Saturday the 16th of September 2023. Are you doing okay? I do hope so. Uh, it's a Saturday morning here in Bangkok. It's a bit noisy outside, lots of vehicles driving around. Um, but uh, that's a good thing. It shows some activity, I think. Uh, it's a Saturday, although I don't have anything to do. I'm just going to be... I don't have any plans for today, really. Just lounging around doing nothing again, I think. Um, saving money, perhaps. <laughs> Conserving money, I mean. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but um, somebody who's not bothering to conserve money, even though they are supposed to pay a fine of, uh, I think it was a billion and a half dollars, is Alex Jones. Uh, he's um, spending plenty of cash... Uh, and unworried that he's going to lose any of it, it seems. Um, there are reports uh, in today's Guardian that he has spent many thousands of dollars per month on his ex-wives and on entertainment and meals. Well, he is a large person, I suppose, but even so, that's uh, outrageous bills and grocery bills and things like that. Many, many thousands of dollars while you know, at the same time laughing and saying that he's never going to pay any money to uh, the parents of those uh, families at Sandy Hook. Do you remember? Disgraceful, vomit-inducing man. Um, well, it's just a shame that th these people can't really be held accountable. I mean, I mean, nobody wants to go back to the days of debtor's prison, right, in Victorian England. I mean, that was a terrible thing where, you know, p rich people just locked up um, anyone they felt like really who, poor people basically who couldn't pay back their uh, loans um, but without any kind of prison sentence hanging over these people they're never going to do anything they just declare bankruptcy they they have all of these legal get outs he's been declared bankrupt his company declared bankrupt apparently his television show is still going on and he's appealing for more money appealing for people to send him money and some lunatics will do it they'll all send money to him this is the modern world that we live in. It's really disheartening. <laughs> Never mind. Shall we play Sudoku instead? That's a, that's a heartening thing as opposed to a disheartening thing. It's something to give us heart. Uh, this is Saturday. That means it's the Guardian's expert level game of the week. Uh, I've no idea how it's going to shape up, but I've made a quick mistake before I even do anything. I clicked on a digit that I thought I was going to place, and no, cannot. Um... We just have twos there, nowhere else. Uh, there are twos over there as well. Um, but no, that's not good enough to find a digit. So let's uh, look again, turn again, Dick Whittington. Okay, we have six down here, six up there. That's going to give me a six in that square. We have three and four blocking these two squares here, so that means that three and four will be here. Um, <clears throat> so that does mean that threes will be in those squares, and threes are also up there. Just seeing if that means anything. Ah, yeah, it does. It does, it does, it does. Okay, now we have three blocking up here, right? Three is in one of these two squares blocking up here. Three blocks across here and up here, which puts three into one of these two squares blocking across there, if I can only do it right, and three blocking across there. So in fact, yeah, it gave me something. It gave me a three in that square there. How about the fours? Does that do much for me? Uh, maybe not. But anyway, I was quite pleased to get the three, right? So this is three and four. So this is going to be 8 and 9. Let's investigate, shall we? We've got 8s in these squares. Oops, try to do that again. 8s in these squares. We have 8s in those squares. Yes. Okay, right, we have 8 blocking up here and across here. So that means 8s in those two squares there, right? 8 blocking across here. 8 blocking across here. That's going to give me an 8 there. That will give us eights in these squares. I'll try to remember that for later. What was the other thing here? Nine. What do we know about nines? Oh, not much, I think. Uh, 
And here, 259, I guess. We've got a 9 here. The 2 and the 5, I don't really know at this stage. We have one blocking down here and across here, so it puts one into one of those squares, blocking down here, and one blocking down here, and the one across here means that that is our one. We have 7 blocking this square and this square, so in this row there's a 7. We'll be left in this row with 5 and 9, and we have a 9 here, so that must be our 9 and that must be our 5. noisy outside. I don't know if the microphone is picking up any of this background sound. There seems to be some kind of industrial noise outside. I have no idea what it is. It's quite whiny and annoying though. And it's not my neighbour chatting. <laughs> it's definitely industrial. She has a whiny and annoying voice. But no, it's not that. It's something different. Uh, oh no. Oh, well, maybe. No. <laughs> no, no, no. I thought I'd seen something. I was looking at this square down here, looking at the two, eight, and the seven. Looking at this bottom row, but it's the missing numbers are two, five, uh, six, eight, seven. So this could be a five or a six, in fact. And then when I saw this six, eight, seven down here, so I know this is a two or a five, possibly. None of which gets me to the end, though. Ah, five up here, blocking that square there, so we can get a five in that row, and now we need a nine to finish that row. <coughs> five down here up here, across and across, means we can get a 5 there. We have 2 and 7 across here. We have 2 and 7 across here, and we have 2 and 7 down here. So we have 2 and 7 only in these squares. Right, come on, come on, do something for me. We've got a pair of 2 and 7 there. What does it mean? Uh-huh. 2, 7. So what do we know about the 1s? Do we know enough about the 1s to anything good. We've got ones in those squares. One. No, I think there's three possibilities, isn't there? Uh, okay, what do we know about the fours? Absolutely nothing. What do we know about the sixes? We've got three possibilities by the looks of it on six. 
what do we know about the eights? Ah, we've got eights in the same squares. Six and eight. Now, but if only we had another number there. What about the nines? No, not the nines. That's not going to help. Nine. Those squares there. Um, so that didn't help much, did it? I will investigate these, I guess. We've got two and seven there, so we're looking for one, which could be there or there. Three. Hmm. Oh, what was this up here? I've forgotten. I worked this out before, didn't I? Um, what was it? What was it? Oh, this was... Three and four in those squares, I've just remembered. This is three or four only. This is what, two and seven, so we're looking for one, three, four, six, eight. No, that's not right. One, three, four, nine. One, three, four, nine. This is three, four only. Nine is in those squares. Three is here, the four, the four is letting me down. Nope, there wasn't enough for me to work out anything there. Maybe you did, I didn't. Um, <clears throat> let's go through uh, clicking the digits in case we spot anything like that. Well, at least the whirring noise has stopped, so at least I've got a bit of peace here now. So hopefully I'll be able to concentrate a bit harder if I see anything. This seems to be a big if, though. Seven and one, one and seven up here, one and seven up here. So that's a pair of one and seven here. Okay, now we've got the two blocking up here, so that will be a two. Now we have the nine blocking here, so that will be a nine. And then this will be a five. Okay, right, again, I said this is one and seven. So this is going to be uh Five and nine. Does it mean anything? <clears throat> Probably not. Ah, well, yeah, it means we can get this, can't we? Okay, we've got five and nine here, and I said this was three and four. Five, nine, three, four. Uh, so this is going to be eight, right? Three, four, five, seven. Yeah, this is an eight. And the missing number here is a two. Two across here will give me a two in this square here. Two up here, two down here, across here, across here. Means that's a two. Ah, and two is finished. All right. Now let's see what else we've got up here now. Um, anything different? Uh, what's missing across here? Uh, six, seven, eight, I think it is. Okay, so this would be three, four, five, I guess. And this will be one, four, seven. <clears throat> hmm, harumph.
Uh, I'm going to click through again. I might spot something else again. Oh, didn't I work out this was 2 and 7 before? I think I did, didn't I? Okay, yes, look. See, again, poor memory. PMS, poor memory syndrome. That's what I have. All right, 7's blocking down here, 7 blocking down there. There's a 7. 1 blocking down here, there's 1. And the missing number here is a 6. <clears throat> Uh, one up here, one down there, and across here, there's our digit one. One across here, one up there, means that is digit one. This was 3 and 4, wasn't it? So in other words, this square here cannot be 9. We also have 9 blocking this square here. So in this row, that's the location of 9. And we know this is going to be 3 or 4 as well. And we also know that this will not be 3 or 4. Shall we look for a UR just in case? Why not? Who's going to stop me? Oh, it could be 6 or 8, so I won't bother. I could see that it could be a 6 or an 8, so I'm not going to bother looking for that, because it won't get me anywhere, will it? Oh, now we have the sound of people outside. Take the place of the industrial noise. I think we'll resume clicking again. It's done okay so far. Yeah, three blocking down here will give me threes in those squares. So the threes blocking across here and the three blocking up here. We know that's a three. Now we know that's a four. We know that's a four. Four blocks across here and that will be our four. <clears throat> uh, missing numbers in this column five, six, seven. We have six and seven in this row, so that's going to be a five. And we have one and five blocking up here, one and five blocking up here, so we know this is one and five. What else do we know? We got one five. Fours will be here. Uh, sixes will be here, and the sevens. I don't know yet. Oh well. Win some, you lose some.
Um, so missing here is three and six. Um, so six blocks across here, six blocks up here, six blocks down here. That must be our six. Nine blocks up here, and this nine blocks those two squares. So in this row, that's our nine. This will be an eight. Eight blocks across here, giving me an eight in this square. Eight blocking up here, up here, and across there. There's an eight. The last number to place here is a three, I want to say. And I'm glad I said it. Uh, what's left? We have four blocking up here, don't we? There's our four. And the missing number here is a nine. And I've performed all of this without my glasses on even. So there we go, nine up there. That's extra, make, add, adding extra difficulty to me. Uh, this would be a five. Five across here, five up there. There's a five. Uh, one blocking up here and up here will give us one in that square, one blocking across here means that's the final digit one. The missing number here is seven. Seven blocking across here gives me the seven there. Seven down to the bottom gives us seven in that square. We have eight blocking down here. We have eight across here. That will give me the final digit eight. Uh, we have, what do we have? One number missing here. That will be a three. We have one number missing here, and that will be a nine. Uh, up here, we're still looking for four. Four blocking there, there's the four. And we also have four across here and down there, so that will give us four there. And I think a six we need here. Six blocks across here, that gives me six there. Six blocking there means that's a six. Three goes here and there, and that's the end of the Guardian's expert level puzzle for the week. And I hope your weekend is a good one. Bye-bye.